Okay, we have received a package and I suspect this is one of my telescopes. So let's open and see what is inside. Okay, I need to use both my hands. Okay, let's see what is inside this package. Oh, power wrap. Lots of it. Hmm. Hmm. Let's take this out. Look, it's long. And relatively heavy. Okay, I'll take it in my. I put them out and I will show you. Okay, this is the first item that I've extracted from inside the box. Let's see what is in more inside. Hmm, what is here? Wrapping. Hmm. Oh, 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 more. Okay, this is the second question. It is more here. Ah, all right. Okay, here, another item. Let's see what is more inside. Is there anything more? Hmm. Okay, we have three items here. Uh, let's open from the bigger one. Okay, gradually getting clear what is inside. So I have to open the rest of it. Gradually is getting clear what is it. Let me finish the unwrapping. Okay, I've opened it now. And uh, yeah, you can see it here. It's a optical tube assembly. Let me just remove the plastic wrapping. Oh, it's a Skywatcher Pro series series. And okay. Oh, EDAT. Oh, that's ED. What is this here? There's somebody has drilled something into this. Anyway, I will I will check it later. Open everything now. Let's go on the second one, which is this one. Okay, the second one gradually getting clear. What is it? It looks like a yeah, finder. Okay, quite a large finder actually. That's one of these 50 millimeter ones. Now we have the third package which I have to open. Let's see. Okay, let's see what is inside. Oh, okay. It's a diagonal. It's a two inch diagonal and it has also an attachment for one and a quarter inch. So we have a um, refractor here with a two inch diagonal and one inch uh, attachment and uh, a viewfinder, quite a large one. So, okay, as you can see, I've assembled a telescope. It's beautiful. I'm a little disappointed that it doesn't have the case for it. There is a carrier case for this. And now you see it is missing here. Let's see, uh, most important for the lens. And also, there is a big drill mark. Somebody stupidly has tried to drill a hole here. Or attaching ring tube rings. Where are the tube rings for this? Okay, I don't have. Do I have tube rings? I have, a, I have bought already tube rings for eight, uh, 80 millimeter telescope. This one doesn't come with it. Okay, this is the Skywatcher Pro, Pro Series um, ED80. Um, uh, it's an upper chromat. And uh, yeah, it had its. Uh, 
finder, but on this mount, Dapsonia mount that I want going, it will be here. And because there is no tubing in this, it will be really unbalanced. So at the moment you see this uh, awkward position of the focuser. But let us talk about what is the most important, that is the image quality. See, there is no aberration color. The colors are vivid, they're beautiful. I'm excited to try this on the moon or or your nebula. Weather permitting. So I was using is the plus hole, my piece, 40 millimeter Ostara. I'm going to use a. Uh, 25 millimeter um, orthoscopic, quick and orthoscopic on this. Let's see. Yes, this is the 25 millimeter orthoscopic fully coated uh, telescope uh, eyepiece and the Sky Watcher ED80 Pro Pro series. Okay, this is a quick and orthoscopic 25 millimeter one. I think plus of image was better, at least it didn't have distortion, but with this quick set, for the first time I see some distortion in the image, periphery, around it, edges. Twenty-three millimeter, sixty-two degrees asteric eyepiece from SV Boney. Uh, you may buy it also under the name of Vite, Vite and Celestra. They're very cheap, about a six pound. And uh, I'm now showing you what the image quality is with this Skywatcher uh, ATED Apochromatic Telescope. Amazing. No false color because of the chromatic aberration. Scholar, so. so far, I'm really impressed with the quality of this Sky Watcher telescope. Uh, the optical quality is excellent. The only worrying thing is this: it can cut in the dark. And uh, yeah, also the lovely diagonal. This is a good diagonal. There's a Chinese one I can see. It's looking like the one that the William Optics makes. Uh, or orders from China. I think this is at around 50 pounds or something. And yeah, the only nag is that this is not the fine focuser, double speed. Um, let me just try to change it later if it works. But all in all, very good. Lovely autumn day. From a window sill. Okay, you can see now through the lens, quite quality. And I can see at least three baffles one, two, and one at the end. 
And if you look at that end image, you can see the sky. I can clearly see the sky. Yeah, that's a door handle window. So, I think Scobos should make really good telescopes. The only addition for this will be a, yeah, a two rings uh, and a Vixen bar. And yeah, a uh, dual speed focuser makes it really perfect. Uh, I want now to remove this uh, dual speed focuser. Sorry, the two inch focuser and put a, a two inch eyepiece. I have a lightweight one. Of course, the lightweight one for us from the Skywatcher 28 mm one is good, but this one is a uh, 50 millimeter from the uh, Astro Revelation Revelation Astro. So I'm just trying to see how it will look. Let me open it and see. So this is a 50 millimeter Revelation Astro Super View 50 millimeter fully multi coated 2 inch eyepiece which I'm going to slide into this focuser. It's a bit heavy and Dobsonian mount which is for just a little a reflector cannot actually hold it, so I have to tighten the uh, screw there just to help it hold it. Astro, Revelation Astro eyepiece looks very similar to the X4 scientific eyepiece. Of course, I don't know if they have a 50 millimeter one. It's quite a, you know, low magnification eyepiece, but. It really looks lovely. The image quality is superb. I have used the Mead 5 times Tele Extender. It's a borrow lens, and the image quality is superb. I usually don't like borrows. They make the image very soft. This is a very uh, low magnification eyepiece, 40 times only. My probably one of my best eyepieces, most used one, definitely. So Ostara, and you can buy it under other names also, 40 millimeter one. But when you borrowed it with this five times tele extender from Mead, which is beautiful, beautiful. Never seen such a borrow. The quality of the image is amazing. The image is beautiful, beautiful with this borrow. Ah, I I think that is a this is the best setup I can I can have. The only thing is that probably I should put it on the tripod and guide it and do astrophotography <laughs> in the expensive way. But that's the moment out of question because I have just a windowsill.